Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. When it comes time to buying or selling your home, the first impression is the only impression with information on how to spruce up our homes for selling everyone is Libby Taylor from Remax Creative. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Look, we are getting ready to sell. Agree? Everyone's starting to spruce up their home ready for spring. This is the time that we need to worry about what is the best impression for when someone walks through that front door. Before we bring up before and afters on some simple improvements that you can do, what do buyers look for with you when they pull up at a house? Well, you want nice curb appeal, for sure. Got you. Um, it's a little early to um, do it, but you probably start in March yeah. for the spring season. And front doors are important. Uh, the windows are important. If your garage door needs to be, um, Maybe painted, painted uh huh, painted, um, and then you start going through the house, of course. And I think curb appeal is a bit, and it doesn't take much to mow the it lawn. It doesn't. It doesn't take much mulch. Mulch, um, you know, trimming the edges, maybe. You know where you might not have. And when I say you're looking at it now, you're preparing. You're you're putting your list together. Exactly. Now, we, you know, I want to keep this where it's a, a minimal cost. Because not everyone might have 50000 to spruce up the house. But if you do minimal changes, how much money can that bring for you on top of what it is already? There are a lot of 85% values. For example, uh, a lot of people don't have the money to do granite countertops yeah. or black splashes. But you, you can do uh, change uh, to your paint. Uh, make sure your floors are impeccable. Uh, make sure one thing is to declutter your cabinetry. Well, here's a great before picture that you gave us. Now, this is just a normal kitchen, everyone. And let's look at the after. There's no black backsplash. Now, they've just added a backsplash. They added a black <laughs> black back back splash. splash. That is a tongue twister. Uh, yeah. Now that would probably cost what? Maybe a thousand bucks? Um, a thousand. Depending to, on the tile. Yeah, d depending on the tile nothing and, and the was, space. Nothing else was done there. No. And it does look polished. Let's just bring up the before shot again. Oh, sorry. We're on That's to the, the next wrong. one. Here's, this is another before shot. Okay, here's the original photo of the before shot that we just... There is actually a big difference. Yes. Big difference. Well, it, because they also added better um, updated chairs. Oh, of if course. You, if you, I didn't see that. And then it is not showing that there are stainless ah. steel uh, added to there. I got you. So right. that is already giving you a little bit better curb appeal. Let's look at the next kitchen. Now, of course, everyone, Don't this cry. might need a bigger <laughs> overhaul, okay, because this will devalue your home quite easily, won't it? For sure. That, the kitchen is the, is the number one really? spot that they would like to see updated and then followed by the bathrooms. Okay, well, let's look at the after show. Now, this looks like they've probably spent about ten to 15000 bucks. Exactly. You know, but yeah. that's going to add what? 20,000 on, top of, the, on yes. top of the 10. Yes. What do you think you get on top of that? 10%, 15%? I, I would say you, you would have a little bit more than that. Really? I mean, it's already done. It's done tastefully. Yeah, and it um, and if, you, if the green cabinets, is, it's just sort of a remarkable It doesn't makeover. even look like the same place. No, they'll pay top dollar for a kitchen like that. That's fantastic. Okay, let's look at some before and afters when it comes to the bathroom. Looks tight. But it's clean. It is. Okay, I got you And there. the horizontal there, towels are, yeah, are done well. That's not too bad. Okay, let's bring up, oh my. And then, now it's better. Wow. That looks, the that's floating, expensive The though. floating uh, sink. Yeah. Uh, it looks like they did new tile or new uh, bathroom doors. I got you. And, uh, and look how open it is compared to, to yeah. the last. It sort of, yeah. you know, it made a huge no, difference, right. plus a, a big light hey, or mirror, I rather. got you. Libby, we, we want you to come back because it's good information that you can give on people on what they can do to maximize every dollar out of your house because it's tax-free, everyone. Here's all the information up on the screen now. Libby Taylor of Remax Creative. There's the email address, there's the website as well, and the phone number. We appreciate you coming in. Okay, thank appreciate you. I enjoyed much. it. Great. Well, up next, everyone, Netflix has a record-breaking influx of new subscribers, plus music icon Neil Diamond, this is really sad, everyone, is retiring after some alarming news about his health. Details to follow in today's What's Popping.